I've got Mr. Myth here with his Cooper 290 and I've got Sam here with his Cooper 290. Today's vlog will be on these front wheel drive hot hatches. You looking forward to it Sam? Definitely. Give us a little uh, teaser. Actually don't, no, don't, no, don't. Here's a <laughs> teaser for you. Look at the copper. That's for Sam. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam bro. So we are calling you Mif today. Mif. For the sake of the video or you can use your full name. It's up to you. Yeah, Miftus. Miftus, yeah. nice to meet you and thank you yeah. for joining us. What are we sitting in? We're sitting in a Leon Cupra 290. Right. The claim is 2 290 brake horsepower, but the dyno about 310. 310. Really? Yeah. So you've had it dynoed? Yeah, I've had it dynoed, yeah. At the flywheel or? Uh, at the flywheel, yeah. So okay. you get 300 at the, at the wheel. Interesting. So why do they give us this 290 figure then? Um, they're always... Under? Spot, yeah, they're under. For what reason? Do you think it's so they can pass you know certain what, regulations? Think, or Me personally, I think it's for marketing. Because obviously the Volkswagen Group is mm. an MPV platform. Right. It's S3, Golf R, Skoda Travia, Seat Leon, Cupra. Very it's interesting. pretty much the same, mm. same car, same parts, mm. engine the same, mm. chassis, mm. everything. And it's purely for marketing, I believe. Because... Audi is like their premium brand, mm. Seat is their sporty brand, mm. Skoda is their cheap, mm. and Volkswagen is like their everyday thingy. So, and the thing is with the S3 Golf R, if they make mm. all of them the same, why would the customers choose one Very or good other? point. So you're saying they keep that separation so they can charge and people do have something well, more to look forward to in the other... Yeah. Right. And the people that don't know much about cars, I feel like they just think that Audi and Volkswagen, they, they don't know that it's part of the same mm. platform. Even like, myself, I was one. guilty of that up until the point where I owned a, a car within that platform, which was the Golf. Yeah. Then I realized, wow, it is all basically what you're saying, the same, but it's essentially the same thing, but it's, same it's thing. as if they've allowed that other car to unlock a bit more and restrict the other car. Yeah. No, interesting. Every car has its plus and minus points. I mean, with with the Golf R, it's, it's not taking anything away from it. It's a, it's a great car. Mm. I mean, you can do everything comfortably. Mm. Same with the S3 and same with, with this, but mm. Like with this, because of so the why did you go? Drive. So, so obviously, we've got a lot of uh, hot hatches. Yeah, uh, the Cupra 290, I wouldn't say it's disregarded by people, but it's, it's there, under, but it's understated. I think it's understated. Okay, yeah. so it is a bit of a okay. Mm. People, people, uh, people don't look, quite yeah. know exactly what they don't know what it is. Yeah. Okay, so That's what exactly like is this? It's a uh, what do you mean? Sorry, so it's a two liter turbo, it's a two liter turbocharged, yeah, um, four, four cylinder, right? Um, same as the Golf, same as the Golf, yeah. The Golf 4. The Golf 4 and the... Yeah, the main it's, it's the, the same engine, it's literally it's the same engine. Same engine, yeah. same engine. Uh, would you go as far as to say same turbo or do you think it's a smaller turbo? Uh, it's the same turbo. It's the same I turbo? Believe, I think it's the same turbo. Do you yeah. know which turbo that is? Um, no, I don't know the exact I did, I, I, I used to. Well, I'd sound like I'm lying now, but... Okay, I don't know what the turbo's called. <laughs> right, so it's a front-wheel It's a front -wheel drive car, yeah, isn't it's it? it's got a limited stick diff. Yeah. So that helps a lot. What does that help with? Um, so it kind of it, 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 it cuts power. Right. So if you, from one when when it detects that there's a slip, yeah, it cuts power. So it stop distributing it a little bit to that side to allow that side to. So the car has a brain. So it's a, it's a, it's a smart vehicle. It's a smart vehicle. Yeah. What do you think of that when you're driving? Do you like that engagement? I, I like it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. I personally feel like because you can. I feel like you can sometimes put the power much. Yeah. You can put it down. I'll tell you why, Myth, and don't take offence to it, but um, I truly believe a car is a car when you hit this button, the traction. Yeah. I feel I feel like all these assists, like we were talking earlier, and I wish I got it on camera. You were saying to me um, about the S3 and the Golf R, how they they feel very driven very rather driven. than you driving them. Yeah, they feel very numb. It feels the car driving mm. you. Not, but do, yeah. would you not say that's the case here as well? I mean, you're allowing the car to engage. In what you're doing, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. okay, in a in a uh, situation, say say my mini, for example, if I was losing it one, and it's up to me to kind of bring the car back, not taking anything away from me. This is yeah. part of the enjoyment as well. I know you've driven other cars and yeah. you've been able to, but um, yeah. So it's interesting. It's interesting. I mean, I drove the Golf and it had all these, but I used to drive that car. I, don't, I didn't like to admit it because people always think, you know, he drives his traction off. He must be a, uh, driving it in a certain manner. No, I used to drive it. I believe the car is for and a lot of my friends debate it with me what do you think 
Do you think you might go away today and think, you know what, let me try this with traction off? I've, I've driven it with traction off, okay. but like days like today, yeah. when it's wet and stuff. Very good with point. With traction off, you're going to be, because you're going to be spinning quite a bit. Yeah. And even without tra with traction on, you're, yeah. you'll be spinning quite a bit. And we talked about the wheel hop earlier. Yeah. Obviously, the way you, I eliminated that by doing the low engine mount. And the so the wheel hop is, if you just explain that, just watch that guy brake, 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 brake. He's just cutting across like a... Yeah. Just areas, yeah, yeah. It is, it is. it's nice. It's badly uh, constructed. That slip road comes in very early into the highway. It should be further down, like here. And I don't know. Uh, back to what we were saying. So you were explaining that obviously off the launch, applying your foot down first gear causes the car to just the front wheels being a four, front wheel drive car just yes, to. Yes, that's the thing. You can't drive this like a four wheel drive car. Yeah. You have to feather the throttle. You have to throttle feather the, the throttle. Yeah. You gotta feather it. And um, that's where you get the wheel hop. So if you try to plant your foot like you would do on a four wheel drive, mm -hmm. when you're moving off, you're gonna get that hop, especially if the road surface is a bit thingy. And also if it's wet, like, like today. Um, of but course, with, yeah. But with this, um, like I said to you, with the engine mount and the thing, it's kind of, it's eliminated it, I would say. So I've, you've placed in a, you've changed the, the bush, sorry. You were saying the bush yeah, on the, the bush, engine. It's um, it's a lower engine mount bush, so yeah. Right. It's called um, the power, you think, the power flex. Okay. Um, it's a poly bush. And it, it, it literally sorry. just, uh, fits inside the um, low engine mount and then and it stops the engine from, uh, from moving that's interesting because the Cupra we have behind us let's see if we can there they are that Cupra is Completely, completely standard, standard in terms yeah. of mods and so you you've gone and you've placed that that engine mount in to stop that what else have you done um, I've also uh, well chain size like I said I've done a resonator delete because with this car it's because it's uh, after well post WTLP uh, for, to meet the new emission regulations stuff like that it's got um, a GPF filter it's called a DPF or uh, GPF? A GPF oh uh, okay gasoline particulate filter I believe it's called right um, right Now this car has had a resonator delete, so in comparison... So in comparison to this standard exhaust, there's a major difference. Now that is gargling and popping a lot more than this 390, and it does come down to that resonator delete. There's a lot more substance to this. That sounds a little less hollow. So yes, I would advise, and I'm sure Myth would as well, that modification. Standard. We do need to bear in mind, uh, see at themselves, due to these new emissions, they did try and quieten this car, but guess what? It's still got a natural gargle and burble, and we'll see if we can catch it. Wow, got it, got it. What mode is it in? Sports mode, there was the natural gargle. Get to the back cam, get to the back. I'm just feathering the accelerator, and do you know what? It's delivering what the RS3 delivers, the burble, and guess what? We're getting it for a fraction of the price. This is in sports mode. There's your four different options. Cooper mode, sports mode, comfortable and individual. Sports mode, cars gargling away as if it was one of them popcorn styled STs. Wow. No resonator delete, nothing. But for me, I feel like it's still a bit too quiet. Okay. Um, I'm thinking about going next for the back box delete right. uh, with the RS3 tips, so the bigger tips. Okay. Um, well, obviously the tips won't make a difference to sound, but the yeah. back box will uh, uh, make sure there's more airflow, I guess, and uh, it will open up a bit more sound. That's interesting. Um, but That's with these cars, with the new cars anyways, um, as you put the miles on, you can you can tell it's getting, it's getting louder. Is it? Um, so at, it is at the beginning, up. I'm not going to lie, it sounded a bit like a diesel to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there was no what sound. is the mileage now? The mileage, uh, we're currently on about 12,250. 12, Interesting, because the car behind us, I don't think, uh, exceeded 400 no, miles yet. so he's still um, doing the running in. Well, Breaking they say the new stage, cars don't really need the braking part, but... What do you yeah, think? Even, well, for me, I, after 500 miles, I'm pretty much... Ready to go? Ready to go. You're yeah. like me. Well, I, I, yeah. But yeah, I mean, see, they say that um, it 
there's no need to run it for a minute. So this is something you don't find on the old Coopers, is it? Um, no, and um, you do get them, in, but then you only have three colour options, but with this one you get. This is interesting, so what, you just slide across and it changes. Look at that, the response there, that's interesting, it looks like a disco. Now you'll find with the Cooper 5 door standard high gloss diamond cut Cooper wheels. Black exterior mirrors are standard as well now. I have just smudged that so let's just pretend like I didn't touch it. High gloss black finish has been followed through on the front grille as well. Flag mark Cooper flag. You see that, you know it's a Cooper. 2019 they changed this flag and it has become black. Uh, and we will see more changes in March when Cooper will break free from SIA and become their own sub-brand, Cupra. Now there are two optional extras, one of them being uh, complete black leather seats. I myself, not the biggest of fan, they look impressive, glossy. However, Alcantara, sitting on Alcantara is something special about it. Or of course, if you'd like, bucket seat, uh, which really do suit this vehicle being a performance hot hatch. Um, but again, like I said, it comes down to preference and finances, which is your choice. For the performance that you're getting, for the price, the, for the price yeah. point, yeah. it's um, very hard to be. I don't think any other car can oh, yeah. compete. You would it. think, oh, because of that cutting of cost, you would uh, see it. But I don't feel like there's any costs cut. I'm very comfortable in my seat, Alcantara seat with the leather finish, carbon trim on the side, leg yeah. space, everything seems perfect. All of perfect. this is standard, this is the Leon Cooper, not the Lux version because I don't want the keyless entry. Right. But, um, this is standard. Why is that, sorry? Uh, keyless entry, so if you get if you get the Lux, yeah. um, you get, um, it's called, the, you know the wireless charging, you get that. And okay. You get a start, stop, yeah. um, not, you know the button. Yeah, yeah. Start, start, stop button. And you get the keyless entry. Okay. But I didn't want that secret for security. Is it? Okay, yeah. yeah. I was going to get to that. Yeah, is it due to the car theft with keyless? Car yeah, theft, yeah. No, I don't especially blame living you, in yeah. Birmingham. I yeah. think everybody knows it's uh, it's a hotspot for car theft. Do you think it's anything to do with this copper, or <laughs> is uh, it is it the car? It's the car, isn't it? It's a car, yeah. I'll take this car because of that. I love that. Yeah, that's um, a lot of people do think this is aftermarket, but this is actually um, mm. fa uh, standard. Uh, not, but these these are the good flappy paddles you've yeah. got on yourself, haven't you? Yeah. And how do they fasten on then? It's just the glue on. Did you get these from? Vag Paddles by any chance? Um, no, I just bought, I bought them online on so Amazon. You should check out Vag Paddles. I'll put their uh, their name and Instagram right here somewhere. I don't know how the YouTubers normally do it, but I'll put it here so you can see that. Good page um, if you want to upgrade these. He's got different colours. Yeah, I'm thinking about going for the bigger... Um, Extra, even... A bigger ones, yeah. He's got them, he's got them. I'll, I'll show you. Ones. He's yeah. got them, yeah, he's got them. Carbon... That's really nice. They've got the carbon fibre actually in the yeah, screen as well. I don't yeah, know if the GoPro can see that. Stuff, All of that's a standard as well. And what do you think of this system? Is it user friendly? It's, it's user friendly, yeah. It's, um, it's really simple to use. Yeah, it's typical. Touch screen, is it? Or? Touch screen, yeah. Nice. Look yeah. at that. Very uh, responsive as well. And the buttons, everything else, they have kept very simple. But to be honest with you, this. If you look at this part, this looks very similar to the golf, doesn't it? it very it's similar. It's exactly yeah. the same. Very aren't, similar. To be honest, yeah. Very similar. Yeah. Uh, apart from this button here. Yeah. Okay. What is that button? Yeah, we'll see in a bit. We'll okay, in a interesting. Second. Interesting. interesting. The way this is responding, the um, the car is giving more and more and more. I feel like I'm sitting in a uh, a three liter. To be honest with you, a one three five. A friend of mine was saying to me yesterday, he was flooring the pedal and it just kept pulling. And this is what the Seat Leon Cupra is doing. And for standard traction off, we're in Cupra mode. No, we're not in Cupra mode. We're in sports mode. It's wet. The conditions are horrible. This thing is an absolute animal. Animal. Where Miff has just put the car into what mode? Cooper mode. Wow! 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 wow, wow. So we are in sports mode, Cooper mode, uh, running in third gear at the moment. And an interesting point you just mentioned because a lot of these cars do generate fake noise now. Uh, from here there's a box in there and it shoots it out through the speakers and wherever else uh, but myth has actually turned it off yeah you've got two options you can either disconnect it or you can just code it out um, I've uh, coded it out so I've just put it to zero percent I mean it's turned up to 100 percent in Cooper mode and I'm not gonna lie it sounds ridiculous it what sounds... is Cooper mode I've never heard of Cooper mode uh, Cooper mode is just 
it's it's the like you know sport version of for um, for Seat really. It's just right. Everything okay. Is set to the max. Yeah. Um, so it's a sports plus mode sport. of for Seat. Yeah. Right. So Interesting. Well, we've got a nice little stretch here up there. Let's see. Second. Wow. Impressed. 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 And I didn't feel as if there was any slip either there Nothing. at all. You don't get anything. That was, and that um, went down to second gear as well, top end of second I gear. I did myself, that's the thing. Okay. You know with this DSG, it's, um, it works very different to um, a, a normal automatic. I okay. Mean, um, it, it takes a lot of getting used to, to be honest, at the beginning as well. Okay. It works differently, like with this, when you put your foot down, you have to press the pedal first, tell the car you want to go, and then downshift. Okay. Um, it's yeah. not in a manual. That is similar to the goal, yeah, in a manual it's different, of course. In a manual, course, you're yeah. going to obviously put the clutch in, put it to second. That's and right, up, that's right. It, is, it works differently. Yeah, so um, you've understood this car now, where to switch and what to do. Yeah, started to learn the car more and more. Interesting, as, uh, interesting, interesting, well. interesting. Well, let's see what this other Cupra has to offer. Apple CarPlay comes standard. Sam, can I have that USB cable? Thanks. Let's plug this in. Slightly awkward for me, somebody with bigger hands. I don't expect my sockets to be plugged up there. I would prefer it down here. So a little bit of inconvenience for me there. Um, let's have a look at this Apple CarPlay. Right, how does it work? Sam, Apple CarPlay, yeah. quite simple, sorry. Right, so we've got Sam's uh, daily mix here. Let's have a look what Sam listens to. Right. Hashtag copyright. Hashtag copyright, it didn't want to work. Waze, everything's there. Apple CarPlay, guys, I'm sure a lot of you know how it works. It becomes, the screen becomes an iPhone or an iPad. And clearly I can't use it. Radio, functional, very nice and easy to use. Media, we know what's happening in there. Navigation, let's have a look at the navigation system. I like how it's just changed the display there, right? So we are in Birmingham, just in case anybody forgot. What else do we have? Traffic, sound, telephone, vehicle, Apple CarPlay, we've got some more here, air conditioning. So everything's there, the car is easy to use. Something I also want to mention, uh, and it actually outdoes my previous car, the E220. We know that car is substantially more than this. However, this car has four display options. If you click this button here, view. And the interesting thing is Audi and VW, neither of the two offer this many varieties. So whatever your mood, whether you're in the, in the circular formation, ready to fly, or you want the dual controls there, it's there and it's nice, it's sleek. It's not the biggest display, but yes, it's S for sleek. Okay, I am in the second Cupra. Um, so much to talk about with these cars. Sam, how are you? Good, thank you. Thank you for having That's me today. No uh, yeah, so we've just sat in that car. I have explained to uh, the viewers the mods on that car. Now, this car has how many miles, Sam, on it at the moment? Uh, exactly 500. Right, so big difference. That car's got 12,500. So this car is yet to really be broken in. Uh, some people say, and as Myth said as well, uh, these new cars don't generally have to be broken in, but 500 is that point, and we are at 500 miles, believe it or not. Sam, what made you get a Cupra? To be honest, the price and the performance, to be honest with you, it's doing a lot more than people think. A nice answer yeah. and uh, to be honest with you, similar to what Myth said, uh, he said it's you're getting every bit you've paid for and yeah. probably more to be honest yeah. with you. Uh, it's, it's basically a Golf R, it's, you know, we, nice. I've, got, I've got that yeah. from him, I've got that from him. How are you finding the car so far? So far good, bit early days at the moment but... Okay. Very pleased. Well, let's take it on a drive. Let's see. Uh, I've just understood what Cooper mode is. He's explained that to me. Mm -hmm. You've got the flappy extension paddles as well, haven't you? I have, yeah. They're nice. They are. are they uh, copper as well. They're they copper are copper, coated. Yeah, too much. Very the, nice. The new accents they've got. Mm, I do like it. I do like it. Very nice. Very nice. Very sleek. Well, Sam, come on then. Let's go on a drive and uh, see what this can deliver.
We're off again. I want to know everything, Sam. Three, two, one. S seven I is back, and Sam is there in the front in the two in the Cooper two ninety. Sam, what can you tell us about this car? What kind of stuff do I need to know, Sam? Well, what you do need to know firstly, it would smoke the Golf R. Oh, S seven R has confirmed the Golf R. It's still the king of the road. Okay, hey, so you're saying smoke the Golf R? Yeah. Okay, uh, maybe not in this rain, Sam. You uh, might get a little left behind with the four-wheel drive system just taking off. If you're in the golf bar, maybe I will. <laughs> if Cam's driving, then maybe I won't. Nah, fair enough. Do you know what? This has surprised uh, me. I've driven it now as well. I've just, I've, I took it down uh, in a straight line. What I have to say is, I really felt connected to the car. Yeah. To me, this is what I would call a driver's car in the sense that Indeed. it's not driving for you. You are engaged. You are engaged and you really feel connected to the car. I mean, Sam, yeah. so what is the official horsepower? Because Myth was saying 290, but he dynoed his car and he was getting 310. Well, 290 is what they say. On paper. Of course, yeah. And, you know, all manufacturers are a bit, you know, they, they are a bit light with the figures. Okay. So I would say, I mean, I have been told, personally, I haven't done it yet, but as he said. Cam, could you put the lights on on the front, please? He has, um, yeah, he's had a good run with an S3. Yeah. He's had a run with the R. Golf R as well. In a straight what, line, what did he, he say? He is overtaking them. Serious. So I'm not surprised he's dynoing at over 300 to be honest. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. What do you plan on doing? Keeping? Are you happy with the power as it is? Because personally, I think it's a lot of power. For now, it's it's great. Uh, eventually, maybe a tuning box. A tuning uh, module. Yeah. That you could tweak plug in and play. Okay. Nothing, nothing too, you know, permanent. No fair. Um, yeah. To be honest. Do you know how much uh, torque this car's pushing? I do not, but it's in the threes, it's in the low threes. Low threes, 320s, 330s. It should be something like that. Have you got that that wireless charging, Sam? Is it a Lux model? I have that? not, that's only in the Lux. Okay, and edition. you get keyless entry and keyless all this. Keyless entry, that. but I did it up for that on purpose. I didn't want keyless entry, to be honest. Why is that? I don't see the point in it. Okay. Yeah, I like to place the, the key, key in. myself, yeah. Myth was actually saying about security reasons as of well course. that's that's why he was living stuck. in Birmingham yes definitely exactly what he said it's common pattern common pattern interesting even in the back to be honest with you my he headroom wise and I'm wearing a hat that's giving me an extra two inches uh, headroom wise it's perfect I don't feel claustrophobic at all nice carbon fiber trim on the headrest Sam how much is this car um, this a standard uh, model, model into the market entry market uh, 29995 29995 that sounds very expensive. It sounds expensive until you consider the other competitors. Okay, a GTI is about the same price. GTI is about the same price, but you're not getting as much power. Okay. Um, the Golf R is about the same, but... That's interesting. I didn't think it would come in at £29,000. Are we talking a basic Cupra, £29,000? If you this want one, a Cupra, yeah. a brand this new Cupra. Cupra. Yeah. Okay. Standard Cupra, standard yeah. Cupra, £29,000. Yes. Okay, that's that's giving me a bit of a mixed feeling that has. But on the used market, they're a lot better. How much, do you know how much the RS is, Focus RS? Uh, brand new. Yeah. Mid-30s. 36 maybe, 36, 37. So price-wise, what's competitive for this at £29,000? It's a uh, pre-facelift Golf R. Pre-facelift. Oh, oh, brand new. Brand, brand new. new uh, a GTI. A GTI. Yeah, yeah. So this is the GTI, the Mark 7.5 GTI, is this direct competitor? Um, they would go yeah, head to head. I would think so. It'd be interesting to see this one day on a track with a GTI then. Yeah, the front wheel drive, that's what they share together. And it's, right. That's why I would say that. But power wise, it shares it with the car. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Even the brakes on this off. The vented brakes I was talking about earlier, I can really tell where the money has been spent. You know, they haven't been upgraded. These are the factory Cupra brakes. They're brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. You don't feel as if, oh, they've thrown so much power into the car, but the car can't stop. It feels like a complete package. So for anybody out there, you know, considering a performance hot hatch at an affordable price, guess what? S7R has confirmed the Golf R is still the king of the road. It's still the king of the road, but the Seat Leon Cupra, 10 out of 10.